Hey guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative, and I am here with a process video for the Wild Whisper team. And I, one of my favorite things, no matter what supplies and collections I'm playing with, is digging through my stash and finding things from different collections or different releases that will work together. And so I'm going to kind of do that today, and I'm mixing some things that you might not have thought of. So this background paper that I'm going to use is from the Bubbles and Bows uh, collection pack, which was like a holiday release. Um, but I thought that this black background paper was perfect for these Disney pictures. So sometimes you guys, you got to look through your supplies and just kind of find something you might not have originally thought of. So I have this four by six picture of my son Ty and he is posed with Zerg. And I thought this background paper was perfect because it's got the really fun, bright colors. It's got a lot of movement. And it kind of looks like the villain, like, shooting his weapon all over the place, which is perfect. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use this splotch stamp. And this is an older Wild Whisper stamp, but it is one of my absolute favorites. And, and I'm just, just matching it up. to bring in all of those colors. I am going to add some of this blue around the outside edge of this mat. And I'm going to keep kind of adding more stamping and more detail to it as I go. So I'm pulling out my Wild Whisper stamp sets and just trying to pick which one I want to use. And I have this Sassy Since Birth set that has this really cool hexagon stamp that I really like using. I've used this particular stamp a ton of times. So I went ahead and used some purple ink to go ahead and add those hexagons around where my photo is going to be. And then I've also grabbed this little yellow like sunburst that makes it look like he's shooting. And we've got that in there too. So my photo has white cardstock, purple cardstock, and then this bigger kind of black matted edge. Um, and I'm just playing with how these are going to kind of line up on the page. I couldn't decide if they were going to, if that white cardstock was going to be on the side or on the top. And then I went ahead and grabbed some of these ephemera packs and I'm trying to decide which ones I want to use. Like, do I want the leaves or the vines? The colors were good, but it didn't really match. And then I went ahead and grabbed the sassy since birth. And this is perfect, you guys. So I've got this little yellow banner and I can use that for my journaling. And then there's this die cut that says, so apparently I have an attitude. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for this picture of Ty with a villain. Um, that both can, you know, sometimes have a little bit of an attitude. And then I love the yellow one on the bottom too that says, are they still bad habits if I like them? Um, so we're going to kind of be a little bit cheeky with our picture and our die cuts. But I feel like for a Disney page, that is just the perfect addition, especially a Disney page where we're talking about the villains. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add these little hexagons. They're just going to kind of match with what I have going on in my stamping in the background. I am going to have my title built kind of on top of them. Um, so they're not going to be quite as bold and out there, but you are still going to get to kind of be able to see them. Now I have these huge letters that I picked up from Target and I'm going to use those to spell out the word Zerg, which is this villain's uh, character name, if you did not already know that. And so I'm going to use these really big letters for that. And then I want to have the word attack underneath. And I spend a little more time than I probably should trying to pick an alphabet for underneath. And I'm thinking I want to bring in red because the villain, in, in the picture, the villain's eyes are red. And so I'm thinking I want to do red. Um, but I was, I tried these like little tiny alphas and they were too small. And then I went ahead and settled on these Bella Boulevard Puffy um, red uh, letters. They are from the Aria line and they are perfect. So my full title is going to say Zerg Attack. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take a bunch of these little stars and circles and kind of scatter them throughout this entire area. And these are just like puffy epoxy. And so I'm going to scatter those so they kind of connect with some of the stamping that I did in the background. They're just going to re-emphasize the kind of style that I have going in the background. I am going to go ahead and take a marker and do a little bit of journaling just on top of this yellow uh, banner. So I don't have a ton of things that I need to say. This is just, you know, one of those fun Disney photo ops that happen all over the park. And so that's just kind of what I'm documenting is that we're having some Disneyland photo fun, playing on the pier over um, one of our school breaks. And that is basically going to do it. So this layout comes together super quickly. 
I do go ahead and add some Nouveau drops at the end just because I wanted a little pop of that yellow color. Um, but I feel like the stamping and the background really kind of allowed this one to come together quickly. And I want to encourage you to dig into your stash, combine some things together that you may not have originally combined, but you can create a really unique look. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.